What's good? People call me Charity Crop. People call this an orange. You know what an orange looks like? Your lungs. You know what a tree looks like? Your veins. You know what this fruit, this plant, this mountain, this flower, and this oyster look like? Vaginas. You know what a nebula looks like? Your eye. You know what this unbelievably large solar system looks like? Your unbelievably small atoms. Were you made in the image of God? Maybe not, but you do have an uncanny resemblance to everything that has ever existed. It's almost as though it was purposeful. As if things were purposefully created. But created things tend to have creators. Is there a God? Well, before we answer that question, we must first answer what is God? Who is God? Like, which God are we talking about? The God of Abraham? Allah? Vishnu, Zeus, all of the above, none of those at all. We can do this forever, so let's make a clear common definition that we can discuss. Is it possible that there was a thing that came before all other things, was aware of the fact that it was a thing, and thereafter helped to create everything else? That is essentially what we're asking when we say, is there a God? So let's get started. You are an organism. This means that you are an entity made up of smaller systems with specific jobs to aid in your survival. Things like your nervous system, digestive system, blah de blah. Well then by definition, the earth is also an organism made up of ecosystems like forests, deserts, and oceans. Now whether you're a believer of science or spirituality, you still believe that we came from the earth. Evolution says that we evolved from lesser and lesser species that originally spawned from the earth. Many religions say that we were literally created from the dirt and dust of the earth. So if you came out of the earth and you are conscious and aware of yourself, then why wouldn't the earth be conscious and aware of itself? What if the planet knows that it is a planet? In that case, we would merely be the equivalent of cells to the earth. Speaking of cells, the definition of cancer is uncontrolled cell growth that thereby becomes detrimental to the organism. Within our continuous pollution and destruction of the earth as we grow in population is the equivalent to cancer. That being said, tornadoes and hurricanes could very well be the earth's way of putting itself through chemotherapy to kill off some of the cancerous human cells that are destroying its body. Natural disasters then become more like medication. Volcanic eruptions then become more like sneezes. What we may think is just a random earthquake could actually be the earth consciously scratching itself to soothe the pain of the itchy humans. The earth is alive and may be aware of its own existence. If that's the case, then God no longer has to be some bearded man in the sky that we pray to but could very well be the universe itself. We've been made to believe that in order to think you need a brain. Therefore, we only consider animals and insects to be conscious. We consider plants and the earth to be alive, but we don't believe that they can actually think and act and feel like conscious beings can. Oh, but they do. According to the University of California Science and Environmental Journalism Director Michael Pollan, plants have all the same senses as humans and then some. In addition to hearing, taste for example, they can sense gravity, the presence of water, or even sense that an obstruction is in the way of its roots before coming into contact with it. Plants' roots will shift direction, he says, to avoid obstacles as if they can actually see them. Researchers have even played a recording of a caterpillar munching on a leaf to plants. And the plants react. They begin to secrete defensive chemicals even though the plant isn't really threatened. Pollen says it is somehow hearing what is to it a terrifying sound of a caterpillar munching on its leaves. That would be a preemptive response to potential pain, something a conscious being would do. Now, of course, we can't talk about God without talking about spirits. If there is a God, that would mean that there has to be some type of metaphysical component that pervades within and through everything. Well, there is scientifically. It's called dark matter and dark energy, and it literally makes up 95% of the entire universe. All the stars, planets, animals, black holes, and everything you've actually seen only accounts for less than 5% of the universe. The other 95% is made up of matter we cannot touch, see, or interact with in any way, but we know it's there. Because if it weren't, then our universe would literally fall apart, because scientifically it couldn't exist if it weren't for this unforeseen power that's holding everything together. That would be the exact definition that a theist would give for God. This dark matter and dark energy may very well be the spiritual ram that many theologians have spoken of for centuries. We are merely the cells of the earth. The earth and all other planets are merely the cells of the galaxies. Galaxies are merely the cells of the universe. In comparison to the universe, you'd be no bigger than an electron is compared to you. But how beautiful it is to imagine that you may be an electron on the body of God. I love you. One more thing. This camera, this computer I'm editing on, this editing software, none of this is mine. We are just people that love knowledge and love and are trying to spread it to you guys as often as possible. And we really need our own equipment, our own resources in order to do this better. So really, uh, we just started a GoFundMe account and we're asking for any contributions that you can give, anything that can help to support Archduke so that we can bring more content, more music, more everything to you we just we need the monetary help we've dedicated our lives to doing this and so we're trying to stay at it but we really need the help so we have a gofundme that link will be after this video or in the description anything that you can give to help us purchase our own equipment our own cameras our own studio anything that we can to continue to bring content we appreciate it so much we love you and i thank you for your support 
I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, you better believe it I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, get that understood I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, you better believe it I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, get that understood